going on guys uh had to go into the footage got to noticing that i didn't have any pre of what actually this video is about so what what you fix to see right here is a few days before this hunt that's the main part of the video is about actually took place is it was raining hard i'm sitting at work game camera goes off of course look at my phone see these game pictures that i'm fixing to show you and uh there's four bucks down in my greenfield it's pouring rain but I had to give it a go. They were there. So the chances of them coming back that evening and not going far since it was raining hard was pretty great. So go back over to that evening and this is what kind of happened right here. And I'll lead, lead, you, lead you into it and let you kind of watch this next little bit here and then I'll come back to you. Okay, as you saw from that little bit of footage right there, it was honestly hard film. I didn't want to take my big camera over there because with it pouring like it was, I didn't want to get it wet. But uh, I got in the stand a little after 2.30, and within about 20 minutes, I already had two of the four bucks that was there earlier in the day come out on me. They hung out for a while, fed a little bit on a little bit of feed I had out, and then the two jokers actually went to the back side of the greenfield, literally within sand distance of me, and laid down. So uh, they laid there all evening, and he never showed up that day until the following Monday. Uh, again, sitting at work, which is the beauty and also the annoying part of having game cameras that send pictures to your phone. Phone goes off, and uh, he's standing in the greenfield. So uh, here's a picture of that. I knew. Hell. He's got to be close. Got to give it a chance. You know, I mean, what else am I going to do? Sit on the couch. So I actually shot footage leading up to this. And from here on out, I'll let the hunt kind of unfold as it happens. So uh, y'all enjoy. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? It's a Monday, Monday evening. I hunted a Friday evening and on day Saturday. A little bit of that footage is in this, kind of trying to continue the story. Check in on Monday, go back to work. And of course, uh, a pretty decent eight point is at my house in my Greenfield. Um, of course, when I'm not there, which I mean, that's how this game has been all year for me. It's just everywhere I am, they aim. And when I leave that spot, they're there. So, uh, but that's a. Uh, that's deer hunting, and all I can do is try to get in the stand when I can. Uh, you never know. I mean, what else am I going to do? Just sit inside and wait. So uh, let's, uh, let's give it our best, and uh, maybe he decides to come check the screen field again tonight. So uh, wish me luck.
What's going on guys? I don't know how well y'all can see me. I haven't used my phone record here. But you guys can see that buck I, he finally came out on me. I feel like I made a real good shot. Pretty sure I watched him go down on the backside of Greenfield. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my house. The cool thing about this hunt is I'm actually at my house. I'm gonna grab my UTV and go back over there and uh, walk to where I seen him go down at and pull him out and Give him a good spot. Let's get some good pictures and get some good video of him, and end this story, man. Oh, it's been it's been two years since I killed my big big deer, and uh, it's been that long since I killed a good rack buck. So uh, this feels good, man. Let's uh I'm trying to look at the camera. It's weird talking on the phone. I'm sorry, but uh, let me get in here, get my key, get my get my UTV, tell my little boy because he's gonna be excited, and uh, let's get back over to him. Y'all stay tuned, guys. I can't beat this dude. It's been a hard season, man. I've been, I can't say completely hard. I've, you know, I've looked out and killed a few a little spike, which I mean, at the time, man, I couldn't have asked for anything better. And I got to two does now. And then to, to kill his eight point, man. God, he's beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, man, I'm tickled to death, dude. It's just. Seems like this year, which I hopefully I can share a lot of the footage I've gotten over the past few days. I've, man, I've, I've hunted, I've hunted hard. I've seen deer, but just not the one I wanted to shoot. Uh, it's been one of those, one of those years, man. Every time I went somewhere, they showed up the other spot, but uh, not today, man. He, he daylighted this morning, which I'll put that picture here. He, he was here this morning. And I said, I, I got to give it a try and just come over here and sit. So I sat over here and wasn't here in mud. I honestly was just kind of sitting back in the chair and enjoying the evening, kind of relaxing after a long day at work. And uh, looked to my right. I could see him walking. He walked out in the middle of Greenfield. And the good thing about being here in Alabama is we can use that good old yellow acorns. And that's what he had on his mind. But... These tarsal glands are super dark. They're rubs everywhere. I noticed more rubs, or not rubs, sorry, I mean scrapes. Boy, I am, I am all messed up. There were scrapes everywhere. And it's, two days ago, they went like that. So they starting to hit hard here in Alabama. I got my second buck of the year, which is a good one. I'm happy. He ain't, he ain't people's monster, but by God, I'm freaking tickled to death with him. He's mine. I get to take him home and I can't wait to do something special with him. He's going to make a, a beautiful European mount on my wall. Well guys, I appreciate y'all staying with me on this journey. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. And thank God today it worked out. He's so beautiful. That's mine right there, buddy. That's mine. Uh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. God, you big old boy. Appreciate it. Guys, y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all stay tuned and we'll be back for more. I promise you. We'll see y'all.